Hi all and uh, thanks for looking at this uh, other video. Um, in the last video I uh, showed you how you could um, customize or lock down the uh, the back screen image and the lock screen image with uh, custom XML on XM Mobile. Um, and I, I told you that that's the first step you want to do if you're looking into more than endpoint management, managing your Windows 10 um, endpoints with uh, with Zen Mobile, um, and and the next step of it is basically to provide your end users uh, with a customized uh, start menu, but you don't want to restrict them in their capabilities. So you want to provide them with a, a set of application you distributed uh, with Zen Mobile to to the uh, Windows 10 endpoint, but you don't want to. Uh, uh, restrict them in putting their own icons in in the start menu so you can do a full lockdown uh, but in this uh, demo I'll, uh, I will show you how you do a partial lockdown so that the end user still has the flexibility and the productivity on the uh, on this Windows 10 endpoint to add uh, add their own uh, links to it but they cannot change the ones that you provided for them um, so um, on, on this slide I uh, I just added uh, some uh, add some links for you as references they are also in the in the custom XML file um, but um, just uh, to get the whole of it uh, they are here um, so when I go to uh, the references or the policy basically that is used it's the uh, policy CSP of, uh, of Windows 10 itself and if you scroll down you see the the, the, uh, the three uh, how you can uh, manage uh, uh, and, and configure uh, the custom XML file so you start again with uh, dot slash vendor slash MS, uh, MSFT and uh, the lockdown or, or the start menu policy can be done on the user level or on the device level and we will do it on the usual uh, user level so that the user that is enrolled into Zen Mobile will get uh, uh, the specific start uh, menu layout and uh, it's a policy it's a config and the area name is uh, you can see it here start and uh, uh, the policy name is start menu and if you scroll down on this uh, Microsoft page, you will see uh, uh, here they are uh, extensive list of all the uh, capabilities of the policy CSP. So we need to get down to the start menu section. And uh, here they are, the start menu section. And there are a lot of other items also that you can do, but we are looking at the start layout so when you're at the start layout uh, you get the information on uh, which versions uh, the start menu will uh, be available and let me scroll down here again here it is. So it's not available on Home One Pro. It's available on Enterprise and Education. It's a user and a device option. Uh, you need to be aware that you need to have uh, Windows 10 version 1703 uh, to set uh, the settings. And uh, furthermore, it expl uh, explains how uh, you customize and export the layout. So what you need for this is a Windows 10 machine that is uh, not enrolled, uh, has the applications installed uh, that you want to provide the user with uh, the links in the start menu. So I have here uh, my demo machine, uh, CTX Windows 10, uh, local account, uh, let's log in and uh, we'll see what's, uh, what's happening here. I did some preparations on uh, on this machine before. Uh, I have set uh, an own background. Uh, you you see there wasn't the lock screen configured, and uh, installed Office on it. Installed some enterprise uh, 
apps, share file, go to meeting, send center, etc. Installed office. And I created a tool section for the user, just as an example where the calculator is, uh, the snipping tool, uh, the command prompt, the PowerShell, etc. etc. So uh, you need to uh, make these setups yourself before uh, you can export it, because that's what we're going to do. So basically, you just run uh, the PowerShell in an administrator mode. the share file because it's not configured we remove that for us a second we open PowerShell and as you could see in uh, my layout XML file uh, there is uh, this command that you need to export and I uh, already did that so I'll make it number two so you do export start layout uh, part name and, uh, and the file name and you get an export and if you go to the part where you exported the XML file just opened it machine is a little bit slow but that doesn't matter so it opened uh, the layout modification file and you'll see that uh, all the stuff that I manually configured there is uh, available in this XML and you see uh, the group tools I created. Uh, there should be an enterprise managed app and there should be an office one. And there you see all the applications. You see the, st uh, the location uh, of the tile, uh, which row and how the size is. So there, uh, if you look at the Microsoft uh, documentation, uh, you see uh, where uh, uh, the references are from column to row, etc., etc. But this is the most easiest way to do the export because you can uh, put the uh, the icons where you want to and the uh, the stuff is already there so when you have done this and and Microsoft's uh, uh, documentation is a little bit strange on it and I'm gonna switch to uh, the one that I have prepared so this is the example of uh, the export uh, that I did and um, you need to make sure that the applications are installed and uh, I will show you uh, where that comment is and there are some so okay here it says if you do an export you get a desktop application link path so it should be for the Windows 32 apps so here it is the application link path and um, it says you must change it to desktop application link part. Uh, you must change the desktop application link part to desktop application uh, ID. So I try that and then I get some really weird starting uh, tiles in my start menu and it's not working prop prop properly. Um, if you look into some other documentation, uh, or even in the same document, it says you should use desktop application rather than desktop link if you're using uh, uh, group policy or MEM to apply the start layout and the application was installed after the user first signed in. So depend my interpretation is depending on the scenario if you install the application with for example the provisioning uh, a functionality that there is available in, uh, in Windows 10 uh, so let me see if I can uh, can show you that if you go to uh, uh, users and 
accounts that should be uh, here provision and packages so if you use uh, the configuration tool for Windows 10 or autopilot or something like that you can add uh, provision and packages and if the applications there are already available on the uh, and installed on the operating system and then uh, the application was installed before the users were signed in um, so that's that's a little bit tricky you have to uh, test test and trial it uh, the desktop application ID wasn't working for me I used the uh, desktop application part that was uh, already in the uh, in the export as you can uh, can see it here so I left it uh, there um, the only thing that I changed uh, is uh, if you do uh, use this export directly then it will lock down your complete uh, start menu and that's not what we want we want the users to have their own uh, uh, capability of adding uh, uh, links to their, uh, their start layout but not remove the ones that you provide them so for that to do, uh, to do you need to change the default layout override to a uh, layout customization restriction type to only sp specified groups so only these groups that you specified here uh, will be uh, uh, locked down so the next thing is to copy and paste this stuff go to uh, our uh, website that we used uh, before and that's the online XML escape tool uh, just copy and paste uh, uh, the stuff in there uh, let me see up oh, paste it in here press the button and you get a nice uh, escape string copy and paste that put it in uh, the data section of uh, the custom XML file so we specified the local URI so we did a user fandom MSFT policy config start start new layout and so, so we did the area name and the policy name uh, the meta format is just this paste the data in here and uh, then you're good to go um, so I already copy and paste that in our XML well infrastructure so if you go we go to the start layout do an edit uh, you'll see the custom uh, XML content is in here attach it to the correct delivery groups and uh, that's basically on the XML side uh, server side anything uh, what you need to do um, so let's go to the demo machine and uh, we'll close out all the stuff and then of course we want to be sure that it works so we will remove all these uh, settings so we get a nice clean start menu and if we enroll the device uh, we should get uh, these three sections back and we should be able to add our own uh, applications to the start layout as a user but not be able to remove if we should also see a nice uh, a lock or with the groups we specified so we remove the settings uh, let's open the event viewer just to see what's happening uh, so if you want to check if everything works there is a section in the application and services log go to Microsoft go to Windows and then there should be an option that's called device management enterprise uh, I will clear the log oh, and I will clear this one also 
and get a nice overview of the stuff what's going to happen of course you go to access work and school to enroll the other advice as you already know uh, we do enroll only device management auto discovery is not configured so I will have to put in the server mine, uh, name myself here so it will look yeah. and it should find it put in my password and it should enroll There it goes. As I said, my uh, my lab is not really fast. You see, it's connected. Uh, if you look at info, you see it's synced. And if you scroll down, you see that uh, the start policy and application management is is pushed. Uh, you should get new events here. So if you click refresh, you should be able to see. 8.14, here it is. Setting the policy string and you see the custom XML put in there. So that's nice. So if we go to the XM Mobile server, we'll should see the XM Mobile has added at the machine and the policy should be appended. Here it is. And if you check at the delivery groups, it should be a success. Also check. So let's see what we have got. And we have got the tool section, the enterprise manage app section, and the other sections. And if I right click it, uh, it says, uh, I cannot delete it. Uh, I can click it, but I cannot delete it. But uh, let's say, I want to add this to the start menu and it says pin to start and it allows me to have those and it allows me to unpin them but ones that are defined in the policy are still there uh, so quite easy uh, if you if you got the hang of it uh, there are some other uh, things you could do so you could also do links uh, in the uh, web links in the uh, here it is. So you can add your own web links to it if you want, and you can can go completely mad on cu customizing this. Um, hope you uh, enjoyed this one and uh, have fun uh, with it. Uh, I will post this. Uh, uh, link for the XML file in the video uh, and uh, see you next time. Thanks.